Hello, 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 hello. Good, 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 good evening, fellow friends and loved ones. Great, 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 great privilege to come to your homes um, as we continue our weekly discussions. Yes, um, the year 2021 began smoothly, though we had some upset of, 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 the, of the virus, but thanks be to God, yes, it's coming down gradually. I want to thank God for that. And so, I continue our weekly discussions on the virus. So we begin this presentation in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So, yes, so our outline for today's discussion is um, the topic itself, the definition, the description, the prevalence, the, the epidemiology, that is the causes, the types, the symptoms, and some investigations. And then we're going to look at the treatment, how we can treat this condition. And then our comments, our this, our 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 suggestions and our questions are warmly welcome even during the presentation and then they'll be duly answered. Okay, and then finally we'll be talking about our next um, discussion, that is our next topic, which is ready by the grace of God. Okay, so before we begin, we begin with a quote. Yes, so the quote is that yes, success is not final, failure is not fatal. To continue, that counts. So, when you succeed, it doesn't mean that that's the end of time. When you also fail, it doesn't mean that's the end of time. But the edge to continue and to persevere is what counts. So, we just want everyone of us to persevere in whatever we we, we chosen to do. And, it will truly be perfect okay so we move on to our discussion for today so our topic was on headaches that is pain in the head so um it is said that headache started way back in the garden of eden yes way back long time but then as as we also begin to acquire knowledge that is as we begin to live we, we begin to also take into consideration what are the causes of the headache and then it, it brought out researchers by scientists to, to to be able to classify this condition and then treat them accordingly our, our great grandfathers used medic and herbal used so many things but then as science proved and went on we begin to appreciate the importance of medications and then other therapies to be able to treat this condition so we're talking about the condition headache headache okay so what is headache so basically headache is actually a symptom but it could be as a result of conditions that one may have inside that is expressing itself outside okay so headache was classified by a society called the international headache society yes headache society that is icdh so international confederation of headache disorders okay so the, the international headache society that is international so international classification of for headache disorders international classification for headache disorders they classify headaches under so many types in fact it could win from more than 150 that is 200 types of headaches but then they group them under three basic types which we'll be talking about and so if you look at if you go into the medical profession so if you go into the medical profession we have two main types of them the the the, the headache that is the types of classification as we have the icdh1 and then the icdh2 that's the h1 1988 it was group the disorders under few types that is two main types that's the primary type of headache and the secondary type of headache that's 1988 but in the year 2004 the there was a new classification which ranges for more than the two types of headaches and so it was classified so we'll be talking about some videos a little history about the condition so who brought headaches so it was actually a man called Aritos of Cappadocia yes it's a big name Cappadocia and then he also he he's a medical scholar of a greco-roman um, antiquity that is 
a Roman Empire. That is way back in history. And so he classified headache under three types. He classified headache under cephalgia. That is headache that doesn't last for long. So you have headache for maybe some few minutes, or some few hours, and it goes away. That is short lasting. And then the headache, he said the headache, my headache is mild. And then the second type of headache that this man classified, a headache that occurs on one side. So a patient comes, a person comes to the hospital and says that one side of my head is paining me. And then the other side is fine. So he also classified under that. So we have the cephalgia, cephalia, and then the heterocrania. That is the old type of classification of headache. But then as time went on, in the year 1672, a man called Thomas Willis. I know the medical Okay, so I know the, the medical practitioners who, 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 who know this condition, that is the medical practitioners, yes. So we have a man called Thomas Willis. He identified this part of the brain called the circle of Willis, where we have so many connections of blood vessels, that is called anastomosis, that helps to give the brain its life and then supply blood to the brain. So this man called Thomas Willis, actually, he classified this condition also as similar to this man called Aretus. But as time went on also, in the year 1787, there's a man called Christian Bohr. He classified headaches under two main types, and then so many categories, about 84 of them. And so he classified headaches under one, idiopathic, that is where we don't know about this condition. And the second one is the symptomatic, where actually it's a secondary type, so we attribute it to maybe a condition inside, maybe your liver is feeling you have maybe you have your stomach pains you have a um, condition your running nose if you have fever yeah, so there are some of the condition that he attributed it to this type of second type of headache that is symptomatic okay so this is a history of this condition um dating back to the roman empire and running down to the year 1787 but as we know time has evolved and so many things have changed and we have so many types of headache as of now which we'll be talking about okay so before we talk about let's look at some of the statistics of this condition or this symptom we call headache or pain in the head so um it's noted that at a point in time every person that is born is susceptible to having headache but statistics statistics have said that about 64 to 77 percent of people are likely to have headache in their lifetime so maybe not all persons but a majority that's more than 50 percent of the the, the populace or the, the 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 world citizens yes are likely to have headache about 64 to 77 percent is are likely to have headache and then about 46 to 53 percent of such persons are likely to report to hospital per one condition or the other presenting himself as headache inclusive so at least so um about half of the the, the population are likely to report to hospital with headaches with maybe conditions inside or could be as a result of likely stress that is presenting so as headache and there are so many causes of headaches which we'll be talking about very soon and then also it states that about one to five percent of the people are likely to have an underlying condition which will be serious before the patient or the person reports to the hospital so that is about a, a relatively minute um, percent of people are likely to report to the hospital having headache okay and also per research it says that about 90 percent of the headaches are not so serious they are just symptoms that could be relieved through medication or through rest or through other therapies that we'll be talking about very very soon okay now let me be talking about the, the the history and then the epidemiology that is the same thing so we're going to move on to the types of headache okay so we have basically two types of headache or three types of headache the first one is a primary headache and the second one is a secondary headache the primary headache is grouped into so many types. We have migraine, we have the, I'm sure you heard of migraine before, and then tension type headache. That one is a bit new to you, I, I presuppose. And then we have other types of primary headache disorders. And the secondary type, actually, the secondary type is not grouped into basically not so um, 
classified but is grouped to um, probably symptoms or conditions that present themselves so one the second type of headache could be as a result of the trauma to your neck so when someone blows your neck and if you, you might not feel the pain as a as of that point in time but then after some few um probably few seconds or hours you could present is yourself as having headaches and then this could result in you reporting the hospital or taking in pain medications okay so the and also it could be as a result of cranial conditions so you could have um probably um a bleeding in the brain so you have bleeding in the brain that could present itself as having headache you could have a, a, one of the blood vessels in the brain getting burst and this could mean you having headache there could also be done vascular intracranial disorders so it could be that probably there's a clot in your brain that's a clot is maybe a, like a stone that is in your blood vessel and it's blocking the blood from flowing in the brain so your body has pain receptors in your brain that sends signal that no something is not going on in my, in, in my brain so therefore there could be a symptom of headache which one is short right they could treat the condition itself for the headache to go away so a headache is is, is like an alert or a, 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 a symptom that could help you to treat a particular serious underlying condition okay so also one of the secondary causes of or secondary type of headache is a result of as a result of um a disorder of homeostasis when we say homeostasis that is the changes in the environment so if you are probably in a very hot weather condition so probably the, the, the sun is shining so high or scorching you could have headaches and this could also be a second type of headache when you leave the sun or leave the scorching sun and go to a quite a colder place the headache goes so it's actually not a a primary cause of headache and also you could have disorder of the cranium the neck neck the eye the ears you could have infection of the ear that could present in headaches so when you treat the ear condition the headache goes away if you have an eye condition that is inflammation of the, heart, of the eye um you could have um headaches we have so many conditions we have inflammation with cornea people so many conditions that you could have pain or headaches or pain in the head when they treat the medical condition the pain could go away and also you could have also a psychiatric disorder that is a mental disorder in your brain where you're unable to think well you could have a stress disorder so too much of work and stressing yourself could present yourself with pain and then probably when you rest for some time you could have your pain going other second disorder is we could have some some a condition we call Bell's palsy where you have weakness on one face part of the face so you have ear infection and this could present itself as some of the symptoms having the person having headache okay you have other the third type of headache we have the painful cranial neuropathy and then this could be also a lot of facial pain so this is more of the what I, was, I talked about initially some few seconds ago that's a bell's palsy where we have weakness on one side of the face presenting itself with pain so the person has weakness on one side the person cannot smile on one side and then when you touch the patient's face the patient is very sensitive and feels pain even with a touch and so this is one of the type of headache okay so in these three categories of a headache that is the three types of headache you could have other subtypes one is the tension type headache and this one is actually the most common type among the three listed types of headache we have so many types of headache we have over 200 types of headache but we want to talk about some few ones for the main time if you have any questions or any comments or any suggestions you can just inbox us and then write your comments on the on the platform or you can private me private you can private me after and the presentation or the discussion okay so the tension type of headache is actually the most common type as we said earlier it affects um adults and teens more often so and actually is a mild type and so you have it for some few 
hours and two days and then a um, few hours and then it goes away actually it doesn't have any same thing yes it doesn't have any same thing and then it's found in about one to three percent of the adults so very few percent of percentage of the adults have this condition and then it's stated that it will go away over time so you don't need to go to actually the hospital probably you could just have some rest and then taking some few maybe you can take a paracetamol for it to go away or you can take in some food sometimes actually there's one secret is that sometimes hunger when you're hungry you can have headaches so probably you can eat something and the food also contains nutrients that could resolve your headache so let's take care if you're hungry you need to also eat okay so the second type of headache um under the categories that we mentioned earlier we have the migraine headache actually it's described as uh, the pain is described as pounding so it's like the pounding food po, po, like this so the headache that you're feeling you feel in your head is you feel you feel it like this the headache and it's throbbing and also it can last for about four hours this type of headache the migraine i'm sure some people have experienced migraine before and so we have testimonies of that and the, some of them are still experiencing so we'll talk about the treatment also for that soon if you know you're having migraine and then it'll it lasts for sometimes four hours and it could span through to three days and actually it happens about one to four times monthly so every month you can experience it for about four times or once um actually these people are sensitive to light so when you put on the highlights the person has tend to have headaches and then so they sensitive to smell so strong smell the person feels headache so anything that is strong in it like a perfume the person strong perfume the person experiences headaches so this type of headache is called migraine headache and also strong smells um actually some of the other symptoms are actually the fact that the person vomits quite often the person has loss of appetite and the person has upset of stomach and then sometimes belly pain it's just that the person sits down for some time and the person has pain in the belly um actually this condition called a migraine headache that's the type of headache actually in children um they, they have digestive symptoms that is they tend to vomit about once in, in a month so then they need to take into consideration of seeing the medical doctor or the specialist to be able to manage this condition accordingly so we've mentioned the tension type headache we've mentioned the migraine headache and the third one is the cluster type of headache okay so this one is actually the most severe type and the fact that it's most severe and then good is that it's rare it's not everyone that gets it's very few who have this type of headache that is the cluster type of headache so this one is very intense intense burning and piercing pain actually behind or around the eye so it's around the side so the person has intense pain so if if you had the same same thing before in fact you need to see the medical doctor or the headache specialist or you tend to risk yourself to rather um, um, um sub complications so if a person has pain around the eye the person has pain sensation in the eye and the the pain is piercing and actually it could also be constant at all times and it could be throbbing and also it could be actually so bad that um, um the person cannot sit down still the person feel like getting up and walking and then going about and actually the person as the condition progresses that as the headache goes becomes worse the person has um eyelid droops so the eyelid the, the eyelid droops the person cannot raise the eye lid as compared to the other side so this condition actually affects mainly one side of the eye one eye and also um the nostrils on the on one side also become stiff also if the person has running nose on, on 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 one side so actually this condition actually could affect just one side of the of, of the face and this is a symptom that helps us to diagnose this condition as cluster headache more 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 concisely so in fact when this condition is noted when you, you experience the same thing that is your eyelid drooping and then you have piercing and intense pain in your eye you need to see the the, the doctor as early as possible and this condition occurs actually one or three times 
um, 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 in about two weeks or th or to three months so we tend to observe the intensity of the headaches and then we can classify this condition as cluster headaches actually this condition or this this cluster headache could last about 15 minutes and it could even extend to three hours at a go and then some people explain this condition as waking them up from sleep so when they are sleeping the the the, the intensive or the piercing nature of the, the the pain in the eye wakes them up from sleep and so they cannot sleep again so some people have um, 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 insomnia that is sleeplessness with this condition or it wakes them up from sleep and also this condition actually is it's 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 very strange it could disappear completely also um, 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 with the you know experience this pain for a long time then it could come back again after maybe a year or four or, or years after and then one statistic that is very important that we should note is that actually men ha have a very high tendency of having this condition so they are three or four times liable to have this condition as compared to women and also one out of thousand adults have this condition called a cluster headaches and then the age group for this condition called the cluster headache is people who are more than 20 years they like to have this condition because they are like they are more active and they, they, they exert energy to perform activity and then so if you talk about three types of headache the tension type headache the migraine headache the cluster headache and then the fourth one is the chronic daily headache so this one actually could last for about 15 days and then even to the month um, it, it could last more even longer to about three months and some of some are some of them are short and then others last for about four hours um actually um it's usually one of the four types of headaches so um the primary headache as we mentioned we have subtypes but under this type of headache that's the chronic daily types of headache we have other subgroups you have the chronic migraine you have the chronic tension headache you have the daily new new daily persistent headache and the hemicranial continua so so many types of headache as you mentioned there are so many types you have the sinus headache that is the headache that when you have a um, cold that's kata people have headaches so if you have headache or you have sore throat there is a high chance of you having a headache and so when you notice that you have headache, it doesn't mean that you, 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 you it will last for long. Yes. When you solve the kata issue or the sore tooth issue, the headache could go away. Um actually this 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 same thing actually it's it's very important that we note when you have headaches, you need to report to the medical doctor. Or if it's hunger, you need to eat. Okay. So another type of headache is post-traumatic headache. That is when you have stress, when you stress yourself too much, you could have a, a type of um, dull aching pain. Um, this could be experienced for about two to three days. And then it could also affect your concentration and the main problem. So because of the headache, it could cause you not to forget things and then you can't remember them all. But when you solve this, this, this same thing called a headache, everything becomes normal we have another type of headache we call the exercise headache so there are so many types as you mentioned so many types sinus headache that is when you have cold you have post-traumatic headache when you stress yourself too much you have the exercise headache when you over exercise yes when you over exercise it could also cause tension build up in your head and this could cause um 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 um, um, um headache um, actually this headache actually lasts for about five minutes and it could extend to about two days and actually um, um, um it could be as a result of you over exercising and then on a lighter note if you engage in um, 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 um a longer period of sex yes longer period of sex it could also cause headaches and so the married couples also are advised that yes you also Take into consideration that you are likely to have headaches, and then um, 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 seek medical advice in terms of what to do and 
how to do okay so we have another type of headache we call the hemicranial continua actually this headache is actually an ongoing type it's almost and always um, experience so you are experience it for a longer time and it actually experienced from on one side of the face so i said there are so many types of headaches so many types and then the the, the main thing that we have one that is chronic that is for a long time that's one that we mentioned earlier on the hemi it can last for a long time and one that is and um, um, it lasts for a short time you have the newly new daily persistent headache um, and, and we have the rebound headaches yes you have so many types of headache and so we have to notice it i'm sure you've not seen any pictures as i'm now but today we promise to show you some pictures it's been a long time with some pictures so we'll be showing our pictures and so we have the ice pack headaches which is few which is um short short and um, lasting and then it can be intense and like you feel the pain in your head as high as possible and it goes down and also you have spinal headache and actually it could be as a result of a puncture so when you go for 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 the to the surgeon and then he you use a needle to puncture your spinal cord it could also result in headaches which it's mild and then it, it could resolve with time it could be as a result of also infections so you have infection around um your 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 the spinal cord region it could also present itself with headaches we also have another type called a thunder clap headache the thunder clap headache and this one is actually as a result of medical conditions so if we have a, a vessel blast you have a blood vessel burst in your brain it could present itself with same thing such as headaches in your brain and then it, it actually comes suddenly out of nowhere and peaks quickly because of the the best in the brain if blood doesn't flow well in your brain or blood flows to a wrong passageway there are signals in the brain called the nerves that send signal to your to um your your brain so that the sensing um region for you to feel pain and then this could indicate that yes there's something going on wrong then per diagnosis you're able to treat the condition as it's supposed to okay so we talked about the types of headache but now what causes headache so we have one a blood vessel tear that is when as i mentioned earlier on a blood vessel tear so you have a blood bursting a blood vessel bursting it could cause headache you have a rupture that's the blood vessel tearing totally you could also have um, um a clot in your blood vessel that is small um a rounded structure in your brain and could also present it as headache and you could have narrowing of the vessels in your brain so if the vessels the blood is supposed to go through this this passageway and the vessel becomes smaller as a result of we have a condition we call atherosclerosis that is um so many flat fats in your blood vessels it could present itself as headaches we could also have an inflamed vessel that is the, the vessel that has become big from the normal side and also as a result of blood pressure changes during pregnancy so women who get pregnant the fluctuations in their blood pressure could present itself as symptoms of headaches Another one is also as a result of illness. So we have infections that's cold. So if common cold, cold, you could have symptoms of headache. You could also have fever, presented as headache. And so this current um, um, flu that we have now, the coronavirus, yes, it's one of the symptoms is headaches. And so infection that enters the brain through the um, 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 open areas such as our mouth, our ears, our nose, could present itself as a symptoms of headache. So headache is actually a big, 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 big. Um, I'll say the mother of other conditions. So you, you you might not say you are treating the headache in isolation, but then treating the headache, the headache um, with 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 other considerations of maybe an underlying condition, so that we can avoid or um, prevent worsening of an internal condition that is getting worse 
okay so another cause is also stress so when you work too hard and you don't rest enough you could have headaches and also you could have smoking so those who smoke a lot they are likely to have headaches because then you, you build tension in the head the blood vessels are not able to pump blood enough to your brain to think well also we have allergies so some poor allergies to as i mentioned earlier on smells and um, 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 and then certain foods so some poor when you have when you when you get near them and you have strong perfume they begin to have headaches and so we should take notice of this when you're having you're wearing a strong perfume in a person or the friend says that my head is paining me don't be offended it's also it could be also someone having a type of headache the headache also could be genetic that is in the family so this actually um we have very little to do but to manage this condition okay so actually for this condition if your parents both parents have this condition you have a likelihood of having this condition in a a, a greater um, 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 portion okay but as of now scientists are still researching on 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 on, on this same thing i'll say in quotes headaches and so I'm sure when you look at various literatures, we can get more information from this. But how do we diagnose this condition called headache? So we've mentioned symptoms of this condition, but then our symptoms also will push us to various um, 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 tests to be able to um, diagnose any medical condition that could be causing the headache. So you could have CT scan, meaning computed tomography scan. So you scan the head or you take a picture of the head and you can see the detailed part of the head then this also helps us to be able to see whether there's a blood vessel burst or there's a rupture or there is a, a clot in the brain and this helps us to treat the condition itself and then when the condition is treated the headache goes away by its own you could also have mri scan the magnetic resonance imaging scan and we could have scowled x-rays and then this could help us, help us to know whether there's a fracture in the in the, in the in the in the in the skull, okay? Or there's a probably it could be a, if the person has had an accident, there could be a bone fragment in the brain, and then we treat them according by especially the neurosurgeon. So he actually is the one who does or um, suggests prescription for this tests. Actually, this this one there's also another test we we also do that's the E aging electroencephalogram and these are also tests that we can see the inside of our head and then if there's any underlying condition we can treat them specifically so how do we treat headaches okay now we are going to how we treat headaches so first of all we treat them through medications there are so many medications where it ranges from mild to moderate to severe okay so we could have paracetamol, we could have ibuprofen, we could have tramadol, we could have so many of the acetaminophen, acetaminophen, as paracetamol. And then we could also have, when it comes to the physical therapy, we could have counseling, you know, we could have use of electronic devices such as the tent, we would have, if you have um, headaches as a result of tension in your neck, you could have something we call hot packs, so we put the hot packs in your neck. And then helps to relieve the tension in your neck and then if you have as a result of one in your ear you could be seeing the ENT specialist so that you could check your ear and then and rule out any infection if there's any infection they give out ear drops and then it takes the pain away also you could also have stress management that is and um, you see the psychologist and helps you to, and takes you to various procedures to go to release stress from you so actually this condition called headache is a big condition and so it requires a multidisciplinary approach so that's the mdt team we have medical doctors we have physical therapists we have the occupational therapists we have the psychologist we have the nurse we have the neurosurgeon we have the orthopedic surgeon we have a so a huge a cardio thoracic surgeon so many specialists coming together so that we can rule out all conditions and then treat the specific condition 
as such. Okay, so want to notice I want to note some various points, very important points that we need to also take into consideration a monitor. So we have to take in a diary to observe how long we ob we take it we experience the headaches, if it's one hour, if it's five minutes. And so as we take note of this, we can be able to classify this condition in its specific type. We mentioned the sinus headache, we mentioned the cluster headache, we mentioned the tension type headache, we mentioned the um the thunderclap headache, we mentioned the exercise headaches, we mentioned so many types of headache. And so we want to take note of when we experience it. And also this condition we should know that it could take time. So if your headache is not going as fast as possible, you just need to be patient. But then we ex expect it to go down gradually and considerably. Yes. So when you see the doctor for a complaint of this, we also schedule a follow-up uh, um, um, of, 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 of you so that we can be able to monitor the experiences of your headache. If there are any underlying conditions, we can treat them as such. Okay, so at long last, um, we've come to the end of our presentation, but I've not forgotten the, 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 the pictures. So we're going to the pictures right away, right away, right away. I've not forgotten. Certainly, I've not forgotten. Um, so just give us some few seconds to see. Yes. Okay, I'm sure now. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready. Are you ready? Okay. So let's look at it now. Okay. So this is the type of headache. I'm sure we can see it now. Yes. So this is the type of headache. We can see the tension type. You can see on the forehead. Aha, uh -huh, the forehead. And then this is the migraine. So migraine affects actually the head, this side of the head, and then the face. You can first see the eye, you can see the cheek side. So this is the migraine type of headache. The migraine, and this is the cluster headache. I mentioned earlier on that it affects the eye region. The person can have would have a piercing and burning, intense burning and piercing pain around the eye region. So behind the eye region. And then this is a sinus headache. So the person if the person has cold or flu. Um, the person experiences pain around this part of the nose and then the forehead and then we could have the hypertension headache which we didn't mention as I mentioned that we have so many types of headache we have about 200 types of headache and then so this is the hypertension headache so if a person, someone has hypertension the person has mostly the headache at the back of the head and then we have the temporomandibular joint headache um, Person could have at the cheek region. Um, okay, so this is also a very good and explicit presentation of the headache. We have the temporomandibular headache. You see where it says temporomandibular joint headache. You could have the sinusitis. That is a, when you have the flu, and then we have the cluster headache around the eye region. You could have the tension type, and we have the migraine. We have the cervicogenic headache. That is around this part of the the, 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 the the body okay so you can see another one yeah okay so this is also a good and a, a good summary of what we talked about so far and so we, we should note also that when the person someone has headache and the stress type of headache we could also do massage around the face and this helps relieve tension around the the the, the 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 face and then sometimes the neck if there's tension around the neck it could present itself as headache and so then we do massage they put probably eyes there or we hit put um heat there and then we do some stretches and this helps to release tension around the headache so you can see someone having headache see them so this is how the person complains the person has holds the head for a long time okay so this is another type the summary of the what we talked about previously okay so i'm sure you can see now we can appreciate what we've talked about earlier on okay
so yes um i'm sure we've learned a lot i'm sure the picture at the end has summarized all that we've talked about yes and i'm sure we've learned a lot yeah, we thank god that we have learned a lot if you have any questions and um, we are welcome all questions are welcome my suggestions or comments are also welcome um, you can see Mercy, you can see Tilma, I can see right. I'm sure many people are also watching behind the scenes. And so if you have any questions, your questions are welcome. Before we talk about our next topic. Um, yes, if you have any questions, questions are welcome. Um, mm, 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 mm. So we talk about headaches, pain in the head. And so... And so this actually is actually supported by the foundation called the Recoil Health International Foundation. It's a foundation that is actually this is our third year of 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 of, of existence. Yes, and so in in very soon we have our third anniversary. So we entreat if you have any support, you can just DM us, and then. You can help us, yes. So you can call us on the number zero five four zero five one four zero nine two zero five four zero five one four zero nine two and then you can have a discussion with us. Or if you have any suggestions or help or any 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 anything for us, yes. You are all welcome. So aside that we are now going to our next topic. Okay, you can see Marian joining in okay i'm sure many of us are watching behind the scenes okay so our next topic actually is also a very interesting one yes actually it's very interesting one and um and this one this topic went far it really went far people were interested in watching it i'm sure the next one will be super 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 interesting so the topic is parkinson's disease or shaking disease or shaking disorder so if you want to know more in fact let's tune in to next week next week actually next week is the last 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 day of the of the month of the month so we'll all be anxiously waiting for our next discussion so the next topic is parkinson's disease thank you very much for your time i'm very grateful and may the lord be with us all have a blessed week and take care see you next week have a blessed week take care bye